Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a wig before. The nail polish may have something to do with it. When is the last time you've seen the sun? It's been over 18 years since I was out in open sunlight. I only leave the house if it's raining or if I need milk. Exactly. Listen, I was just like you at one time, except I didn't wear makeup. That would get you a firm beating where I grew up. I'm happy to give you a sample of my course, Learn, Start Doing. I promise. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. Which is hard to do. I've been to the other side many times. Sometimes I barely come back. It's all about astral projection. Like right now, I'm projecting myself into the woman's bathroom at the fairgrounds. Hey, that's a good trick. Maybe you and I should go into business. Shut up, you weird, pathetic people! This is my show, Maurice Chavez. Capish? Comprende? We are not here to recite poetry or sell motivation tapes or talk to dead people. We are here to press the issue. Anyway, let's take a break. We'll be right back after this important inf Who is this guy? And you're Boys, to deal with you. Are Get him! That's to that Michelle. psycho! You might as well throw a brick through the window and loot the place. How selfish you people are. This is public radio, serving the public with everything that is important, like me. So come on, keep us on air. It's really important. Send us your money. I'm going to say this over and over until you do. Yes, Michelle is known for her begathon tantrums. She cares about this station, unlike you. Think of how much money you spend on drive through fast food and commemorative plates. Take that money right now and send it direct to me, Jonathan Freeloader, Starfish Island, Vice City. Now, back to the show with Maurice Chavez, the asshole. You're correct, he is an asshole. I'm Maurice Chavez, welcome back. I used to be a performance clown. Now I'm running a debate show. Funny how things turn out, eh? <laughs> or is it? That's the question, you see. If we look upon life as a positive experience, do we make it any better? That's what we're discussing right now here on Pressing Issues. Free radio with free ideas. Just keep those donations pouring in. Don't sell out to corporations. We all need a voice. Really, we do. And today, right now, we're giving a voice to three very different people discussing positive thinking. A healthy mental attitude. We've got a goth depressive. We've got a very happy orphan. And we've got a motivational speaker with a number of systems. So let's start with you, Constantinos, you strange, creepy creature of darkness. Have you got a positive mental attitude? I like to think so. Oh, really? Misery and suffering, it's everywhere, man. And I actively want a fatal disease. What bad can possibly happen to me? You could win the lottery. The lottery? That's for people with hope. I don't enter the lottery. You could. Damn, you, you two, help me here. I think he's great. I think he's really sweet. I love your hair. It reminds me of a big shaggy dog with long, greasy, straight hair. You know... She, you're kidding me, right? You'll never make it in the entertainment business. It's about realistic goals. I can change your life. No, 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 just a second, robot. What isn't covered in your three-step program? What don't you talk about in your library of Congress-sized tape cassette library? Whatever we talk about, greed, 
gods, depression, changing lives. Who are you? What have you done that's so great? You wear a cheap suit. Your hair is stuck rigid with spray. Your breath thinks of whiskey. You, you look like you sell drugs to people. You're a joke, buddy. A bad joke. Oh, now this is getting personal. I come on your cheap ass show. I spare my valuable time. Okay. I cancel several important speaking engagements. I talk to thousands of VIPs in order to spread a message of hope. And this is how I get treated. I get insulted by a man with dandruff. I get slandered by a guy who couldn't amuse a birthday party of nine-year-olds. I get attacked by a guy who works on a volunteer radio. This is not volunteer radio. I earn a salary. How much? How much do you earn, Chavez, big man? Tough guy with a microphone and a cheap jacket and a look that says my highest hope in life is to work in a bookstore? I'm a go-getter. You're a cheapskate. You're a fraud with nothing to tell people and no way of helping people. Excellent. I'm really loving this. I hope one of them gets killed. Shut up, Thor. All the bunnies are stabbing each other. Shut up. I have a condo. I have a hot tub. I have a cake. is sitting on the side of life criticizing others while all he can do is get a crappy gig down at a moron station. A man who lives with his mother. I'm between apartments. And I'm between mansions, Buster, from helping people. Do you know how good it feels to be me? Do you have any idea, any idea at all, how great it feels